Hello, good morning. How are you all doing? I feel really good today, and I hope that you're feeling the same way. I hear that you will really enjoy our new coding website, Ron Marco. And guess what? Today we're going to go deeper on that journey. Are you in? Let's give it a try. All right, so the first step that we're going to take is to click on our favorite web browser. When we do that, we're going to click on our search bar, and then we're going to type in Ron Marco. Then we click on enter, and something like this will come up. You're going to click on the first link, and this website will load. You're going to click on the green button right here, and then you're going to choose your favorite character. I will stay with Marco this time. Probably you tried this too last time. I don't know if you had the chance to actually complete them all. This time I'm going to request you to upload a capture of the screen to, so I can see how many levels you were able to complete and I can actually save your progress, right? So I'm going to continue in this one, assuming that you didn't get that far because this one has way too many levels. But since you enjoyed that much, probably you're pretty far on this one. Right, so I was actually taking a try, so as you can see. So let's try number 17. Da -da -da -da. All right, so in this case, we're trying nested loops. What is that? When we have a loop, let me show you this button right here. We can repeat any command the amount of times that we want. Right here, we have the choice to actually try whatever we put inside this loop nine times at the most, right? So when we have a nested loop, that means that we have one repeat button inside another repeat button. So that means that every command that is inside this loop right here will be done first, and then everything right here on this one will be done the as many times as we say on the other one hmm, that sounds complicated so let's see how this actually looks like in real life right so as we can see marco is right here so the first thing that i'm going to try instead of clicking and dragging this many step forward buttons what I'm going to try is to come all the pieces that I need to move forward, and then I'm going to use the loop button. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, all right? So I'm going to click right here, my repeat button, step forward inside, how many times? Seven times, did I say seven? Two, four, yes, yeah, seven, all right? So far, so good. I see that I need to turn, but this time I need to turn left. I'm going to include the turn left button. I'm going to put it right here because I don't want to repeat these two at the same time. Take a look. If I put it inside my turn left, it will do a step forward and turn left seven times, but I don't want to turn left seven times. Take a look. Whoops, I don't want that to happen. What I want is to actually take seven steps forward, and when I get here on my seventh step, I want to turn left. So I'm going to leave it right there. So let's take a look. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven steps again. All right? Hmm. This button looks pretty familiar to the one that we already just tried. So let's see where do we need to turn now. If I'm facing this way, then that means that I need to turn left again, all right? So instead of me adding another repeat button and then the step forward and then turning left, what I'm going to say is that I want to try the same pattern all of this, how many more times? All right, so I see that I need one right here. Then I'm going to need another one right here. And if I count this right here, let's see one, two, three, 
four, five, six, and seven. So that means that I'm going to need everything right here repeated three times. I'm going to put everything inside and let's see if it works. I'm going to click on run on my run button. Okay. And there you go, Marco. All right, looking good so far. And there you are. And just like that, we made it. All right, let's try another one. I really love the graphics in this game. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so yet again, we have the pattern right here. This looks a, bit, a little bit different this time. So we're moving forward. All right, one, two, three, four, five. One of the best things about this repeat button is that it, it saves me a lot of time and space because instead of clicking and dragging five step forward button, I just click and drag one button and just right there I got my first step, my five step. But, all right, so I need to turn, let's see, right this time. Oh, right, right, where are you? All right? And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven times. So right here I have my loop button. Then I'm going to say that I need to move or actually step forward seven times. All right. Then I'm turning, I'm facing this way. So that means that I need to turn left. No, left? No. I need to turn right this time. Because I'm, my eyes are looking downwards, so that means that I need to turn right. All right. And then I need to move forward again. So let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Huh. But as I notice right here, I have the same pattern again, but this doesn't match. The amount of steps that I need. But what I'm going to try is another loop button because in these two cases I have the same steps. And if you can as you can see, we're going to turn right again. So right here I have seven steps and I'm turning right. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say that I want to try one and two times. The same pattern. Let's see if that works. And there you go, Marco. All right. Looking good so far. And there you are. Whoop. We're almost there. So as we can see right here, we're missing two more steps. Actually, three because we need to turn, right? So we could say that I want to try this one again, or I could add these two steps that I'm missing right here. So I will just click and drag to step forward buttons, and we're going to leave it like that. So let's try it again. Run, mark up, run. All right, all right. And there you are, we made it. Oh, since I probably did that many tries, I just got a star. So probably you can figure out this in your mind just before you get to click and drag everything because this really uh, takes into consideration the amount of times that you try. So if you want to get all of them, make sure that you organize first your steps in your mind and then you give it a try in the code. So let's see if we have time for another one. Well, I can see in this in this case that we have the same buttons for us to use, but this time we're supposed to use another one because right here we have some different bushes that we need to jump. So I'm going to open my notepad 
And right here, I can see that I have a button that says jump forward, right? So I'll, I will try this one real quick. So I, I don't keep this video this long. And then you're going to try it on your own. If you have any question, you can actually drop your question in the comments below this video. So I'm going to click on run to see you jumped and then I move forward, but it doesn't need to move forward. Instead, you're supposed to turn left. I trash this and then I turn left. Then I click on it again, it jumped. All right, so I can see that with this block right here, jump forward, I can actually jump any obstacle, in this case, a bush. I hope that you're, oh, sorry about that. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson today. Probably you are moving forward or trying another level right now, but we're going to continue working on this journey together. It would be really nice if you actually can drop uh, a screenshot of the amount of mission that you have completed so far. So that way I can keep track of your progress. And next time we can try something that is approaching to your level, okay? So have fun.